I'm gonna let 70 seal me and you can see right there boom he takes me and now there's just nothing out here there's no real answer for a play like this because you can go explosive run in either direction once he gets past that safety I mean it's just it's just easy money this is, this is as wide open as the one play touchdowns you're gonna get for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad. She's as always got another offensive scheme for you guys today. Today I'm be going over some run plays out of my favorite playbook in the game, the Baltimore Ravens. This playbook here, I keep finding amazing run plays in this playbook. This is without a doubt the best running playbook in the game, and that's not going to change today. I'm going to show you guys some run plays, but I also got some really great pass plays of the exact same information. If you guys want to see more out of this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. As always, the formation is the gun wing slot week. This particular formation, I mean, I've put out plays out of just about every formation that this playbook has to offer at this point. I mean, just about half the gun plays, half the pistol formation plays. Uh, I just basically live in this playbook. It's the best playbook in the game, in my opinion, and it's not even close. Uh, the gun wing slot, though, if you guys caught my video last week, I put out some run plays out of the gun Y off trio week. I put out a run play called the, I mean, I put out a full scheme, but I put out one particular run play called the buck sweep. I had to find plays like this throughout the entire game this to me is the best run play in the game it's the most overpowered run play in the game and i don't have to go too far because i basically just have to go over a few formations and the baltimore ravens has another version of it which might be even better this particular version i'm going to show you guys today might be even better than that one because it's actually a read option play so you have the option of running with your quarterback you guys my four play audibles like i always do the buck sweep read option is without doubt the best run play in this game in this particular uh playbook it's one of the better runs in the game uh it's very similar to the play that i showed last week but you can actually keep with your quarterback and have very explosive runs also which you didn't have in the other play as far as the halfback base it's one of the best inside runs if they're spreading the line because when you're running wide sweeping looping runs to the left and right like i'm going to show you in this play you're going to get a lot of people that spread the defense that's going to bring up a lot of opportunities for the halfback base and the power read which is also an inside run uh i'm going to show you guys those three run plays today i'm also going to show you guys the ravens double post this particular play is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game now the fifth play pa bubble over is probably the best pass play uh that i have left that's not my audibles uh but the best run play since we're doing a running video will be the rpo zone peak so that would be my fifth play so we're going to pick that on the defensive side we're just going to pick a random 4-3 now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code email don't use discount code money discount code email is a promotion that running you get six percent off anything on their site by using discount code email right now so if you play that or any of the games that they offer uh products for six percent off you discount code email check that out link in the description below so so this play here, this is a play where I showed you guys last week, it was a power replay. All I have to do is hold the A button, and for whatever reason, these guards do a terrific job of kicking out. There, that actually wasn't too great of a run block because the guard didn't get upfield. But you can see, I still have a lot of opportunity. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be holding A and handing to this running back. Like I said, this is something where I pretty much can get outside of this every single time. But there's a caveat. You could also hold it with quarterback. This play is going to be especially dominant against man, like right here. We have nobody out there. Now, there's one thing that I I forgot to mention this is important when it comes to the pass plays 
always every single time you run this play motion this guy in it's going to help with the run plays too because a lot of times it'll bring the cornerbacks in and stuff like that it's going to help me get outside with the quarterback but you pretty much want to always motion this guy in it's going to make a huge difference when it comes to the scheme because that motion in is going to be something that i do every single time when it comes to the pass play so like i said it'll help with the run plays as well if i keep it with the quarterback ultimately though this is going to be something where i could basically just keep it you can see right here i mean the blocking is great for the quarterback i should probably run out of bounds if you run with the quarterback you don't want to end up with getting fumbles and stuff like that but you can see how easy that is now here we have a really interesting look this is going to be my best opportunity to keep with the quarterback because you're going to see how these guys are all pretty much in the box you can see right there i mean that guy just didn't commit there's nothing out here anytime you have these type of man commit looks we have all these guys packed in the box keeping with the quarterback is going to be best because they just don't really handle that particularly well this is probably going to be your best look when it comes to running with the running back because you got a man coverage you can see there's no real um outside cornerback on the right side there's nothing really keep me from holding it to the running back and basically just spring to the edge you see the guard there does a great job of sealing i mean this is something where i should get 10 to 15 yards before i get touched any single time i run this now here we have a real thin line of fence you can see there's there's nothing really uh at the second level over the middle this is a perfect opportunity for the power read if i can get enough acceleration with this play i'm pretty much this is this is the exact opposite i'm never going to hand it to the running back typically i'm just typically going to keep it with the quarterback you can see right here i mean it just basically leads me right to a hole as you can see there's nothing really on that second level but trying to get outside is not necessarily the move with this run so if your opponent's thin in the middle you're going to want to hit them with the uh the power read if, if they're thin out Side, you're going to end up with the buck sweep now we have that obvious safety blitz again this is probably best for an opportunity just to hit him with a power base because ultimately um you know this is something where i don't really want to take the chance with the extra animation time i just want to get up and get five yards on a particular play like that here's another play where they're thin outside like i said i could try this and i like i said that guy the the, the, the guard isn't quite doing the job and it might be because i'm sprinting so quickly i'm not really sprinting up his back as i probably should be we'll try to do a better job of following our guard because ultimately he's the guy that's really going to lead to the daylight you can see right there that's how i want to do it you want to you want to be in the trail of the guard that's really the most important thing because he's the guy that's going to spring into daylight as you can see if i if i, I would not i'm not hitting the guns this time you know what i mean i'm basically just following 70. i'm going to let 70 seal me and you can see right there boom he takes me and now there's just nothing out here with the exception of one safety if i if i basically could make this one guy miss it's probably a touchdown uh but ultimately he catches me all still a really you know a, a very explosive play to the outside on both directions the thing about a play like this is your opponent's really not going to be able to pre-diagnose what's best to do. I mean, they're, they're going to, there's no real answer for a play like this because you can go explosive run in either direction and have big plays on opposite sides. So up to the point where you decide with the quarterback, they'll never have any idea what to do. Now there is a play that probably should have been put in my audibles earlier. That's the RPO zone peak. This is something that also looks very similar, but if your opponent gets crazy and starts run committing or something like that, you actually have an RPO where you can pass. So let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we will continue with random 4-3 and this is also a very good run play once again we can take this outside we can hand it off we're still getting you know this is more like if there was a stretch run here this would be more like the stretch run you get the exact same look but you're not necessarily getting the pulling blocking you're just getting solid blocking the play that i'm going to go over is the raven double post I would say the only real thing that you need to make sure you do is have your best receiver at this spot right here. I got Hollywood Brown running that. That's going to be the home run spot nine times out of ten, although it can change up based off what defensive coverage you're looking at. But for the most part, that's going to be the route. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go with, uh, we're going to continue to match. We'll go with 4-3. We're going to start off with Tampa 2 like we always do. So in yesterday's video, I made mention that it's the most important thing, even when you're running the run plays, to motion this receiver in. It doesn't matter where you are on the field against what defense. I'm going to make that motion every single time so if you only did it during the pass plays your opponent would know it'd be a tell of what you're doing so make that motion every single time after that all i really have to do is put the wire out here on a slant everything else is really semantics at that point i can block my running back and block my tight ends it doesn't really matter uh but ultimately this is going to be a one play touchdown against cover two it's all about the x route so we're going to go we're going to block everybody we're going to give ourselves as much pass pro as possible and then you can see how that slant keeps that safety down we got a very easy one play touchdown against cover two zone and it's going to have a very effect against cover two man so we'll go to the replay this is a combination of routes i've used in a lot of different plays and a lot of different formations uh, as you can see he basically just gets inside of that safety and the slant is what kind of basically forces the uh, the other safety's hand as far as committing lower and letting this guy get behind uh, that safety. So very easy concept. Doesn't matter where you are on the field either. I mean, you can run this from anywhere with this exact same setup. So we'll go and move the ball over 
And we'll do that again. Now the setup changes a little bit. You can see the receivers react a little bit differently based off of where you are on the field. They'll, um, you know, sometimes they'll be more shallow than others, but it's going to be the exact same way. So I won't mind giving myself like the B route here is a great check down. It's like a zig route. That'll be perfect for what I'm trying to do. Uh, and then you can see here once again. I mean, we're getting right over the top. Although there, he reacted a little bit better. Maybe it's because it was a shorter side of the field, but it's not really going to matter. So ultimately, the exact same effect. So it doesn't really matter where we are on the field. We're going to run that again. We're going to go. We're going to match with cover two man this time because it's going to be the exact same result. We can do the exact same setup here. We don't really have to do any motions or anything really. Like we can leave it just like this. And you'll see how the X route there will get open the exact same way. Like the actual motion on cover two is not that important. As you can see, he pretty much just gets inside of that jam. It's going to have that one big touchdown effect regardless. And it'll still work out. So like you want to do a setup just like this, this is fine. You know what I mean? You don't have to do any of the, the motions or anything like that. The X route here will have success getting over the top nine times out of 10 if you have a good enough receiver. And it might actually be better in man because a lot of times they can run into one another. Uh, and I'll, I'll see if I get that look. If I motion this guy in because they're so tight and because I'm putting this receiver, this Y route on, in, on an instant slant, a lot of times uh, he can actually uh, get in the way of the X route. As you can see right there, it kind of bumps him a little bit. There are benefits and there's drawbacks because the benefit is when you motion this receiver in, he doesn't get jammed, he doesn't get pressed. When you leave him out wide, the cornerback gets hands on him. When he's in close to the line, he doesn't. But at the same time, he could also get uh, knocked off of his route. So that's cover two. Cover three has a slightly different setup. So let's go and let's pick that. So we're gonna make that same motion, but we're gonna highlight the other route this time. We're not gonna highlight the X route. We're gonna highlight the Y route. We're gonna put the X route on a streak, and then we're gonna basically uh, hit a different crossing pattern here. So the only real difference here, I think the X, the A route pretty much has to be on a five route out. But that's it. Now that you're going to see the A route here, or the Y route rather, is going to be their home run play. As long as I get a good enough throw, I don't know if I'm getting a good enough throw. I should have bullet passed that instead of instead of uh, lobbed it. But you can see how that play really gets over the top. Let's do that again before I go to the replay and see what happens because I think I had way more separation if I threw that ball a little bit better. So A route on an out route, block on running back, streak the X route. That's all we're going to do. You're going to see how this this zig route here and this this route combo really keeps that cornerback down as you can see we're getting right over the top and we're doing it with DeVernay we're not doing it with Hollywood Brown so you're seeing that we're not even using our fastest receiver we're still having the same results also works against cover one so we're going to pick cover one hole all these routes are pretty much going to be cover one and cover zero but you're going to need um, a lot of you know additional blocking so the x route here is probably the best way to go uh, the A route and the B route are really good check downs, but I'm going for the home run. So the X route is definitely going to be the best one. The, the post route is going to cook any man coverage, cover zero or cover one. You just have to make sure you have enough blocking. So once again, motion in the X route, put the Y route on a streak. Got my check down, so I'll block my running back. Just really have to slide protection by time. And we're going to, I mean, I could take the A route, I could take the B route. They're all really open, but ultimately if somebody's running cover one, this guy's going to cross and be a very big, easy one play touchdown. We're going to move on to cover four. Let's do cover four regular first because we're already set up for that. This was like, a, like what I was saying. We're going to go exact same setup, but we're going to, the Y route's the way to go here. So I don't really have to do anything. I'll, I'll pass block my running back. Everything else is pretty much set up. You're going to see how the Y route here just super glitches out this cornerback. I mean, I'm, I'm doing short side, so that's going to probably be the issue that's going to keep me from scoring a touchdown. I'll probably have to move the ball back to the wide side just because of the throw. But ultimately, you can see it gets over the top of the cornerback. We'll watch the replay real quick, though. You can see this cornerback, nothing lets this cornerback drop. He basically just stays down the whole time and lets this guy run right behind him, which is where you're going to have your opportunity. If I had a pass led up a little bit, probably would have been an easy touchdown. So we'll go and do that again. Get our wire out involved. I said this route here, once it gets past that safety, I mean it's just it's just easy money. This is this is as wide open a cover four one play touchdowns you're gonna get. Then also works against cover four match. And this will be the last play of this video. Let's go let's pick that. Now we've gotten a ton of separation all all video, but against cover four match, you're probably gonna get the most. All you have to do is make that motion one more time and then put the wire out on a 10-yard comeback. That's it. I will block my running back. You're gonna see how that comeback's really gonna confuse the safety and the cornerback. And the X route really just gets right past them. Uh, which it covers, it actually covers this play pretty good if you don't make adjustments. So you have to make adjustments against cover four. A lot of cover four plays I put out really don't need a lot of adjustments. This one here doesn't need a lot of adjustments, but you need to make that comeback route or this will not work. So 
basically the cornerback and the safety have a little bit of a hard time communicating. By the time uh, the safety realizes it's his job to cover Brown, he's going for a one play touchdown. All he has to do is basically just lob it up and it's kind of like a man coverage that doesn't really cover. Now the last play is going to be the PA bubble Y over. This play here does not need as many adjustments and it only really works against cover two man in zone. Let's go and let's pick that. Not only works against cover two man zone, but it's super glitchy. All I have to do is put the Y right here on a streak and the X route here will be gone in a flash, pretty much as the ball is hiked. I mean, this is as good a cover two one play touchdown as you're gonna find the game because you really don't have to do anything. This route just runs right past this cornerback. It's really just one adjustment and go. And the cornerback, he just kind of runs right around the cornerback. I mean, a bullet passing the outside away from the safety, that's pretty much it. It's a drop in the bucket. And like I said, it's a super explosive one play touchdown against cover two man and zone. Well, we'll pick that again. We'll pick cover two man. Against cover two man, though, the window's a little bit tighter. That's the only thing. You have to be sure. It still needs, it still requires that bullet, but you'll see, I mean, you need a little, you'll, you might not have a one play touchdown as well, but you'll see that you can get this opportunity as he runs around the cornerback the exact same way. But I have to hold this ball a little bit longer, though, and I really have to, you know, you, you, that one there is a much tighter window. It's not a one play touchdown either, but it's a very big play. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of the Ravens or more plays out of this formation, because I still have more on my Patreon, on my Join Our Community tab, hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below